You know, they were talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory so far it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions. And these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even light any, go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with, with this to. thing. Alleged to. Alleged to, right. Yeah. Now, we realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bringing in the laws of physics rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. <laughs> We're actually using trillion watt lasers yeah. now. And in the laboratory, sure enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. In the years ahead, wars will be fought not just on land and sea, as they have for thousands of years, or in the air, as they have for the past century, but also in outer space and cyberspace in unprecedented ways. Meanwhile, in space, Moscow and Beijing have turned a once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons, and more. Directed energy weapons, and more.